When the Going Gets Tough, Podcast 15. Some time ago, I was going through a very difficult time. I was overwhelmed, and I broke down, and I cried. My wife came over and tried to console me. And as she was speaking with me, she said something funny. And so I laughed. I was crying and laughing at the same time. I was laughing through my tears. Has this ever happened to you? Then I realized, perhaps this is the stuff of life. To cry with this eye and to laugh with this eye at the same time. Because life is an amalgam, a mixture of emotions. Happiness and sadness, sometimes at the same time. Life is often bittersweet. And I thought about it, and I realized that when we go through life, we have this duality of emotions. When we anticipate something new, we have anticipation, and yet we have fear at the same time. When we go through a difficult time, we're frustrated, and yet we have a sense of perseverance at the same time. When we go through a pressured time, we have pressure, and yet we have motivation at the same time. And therefore, this duality of emotions happening at the same time is perhaps the stuff we call life itself. I believe that God built this duality into the fabric of creation when he created the world. In the first chapter of Breshis, Genesis chapter 1, God says, Vayhi Erev, Vayhi Voker, Yom Echad. There is evening and there is morning, one day. Evening means crisis, ordeal, challenge. Morning means clarity, resolution, solution of the problem. Isn't there a duality built into life itself? We have darkness and we have light. We have evil and we have good. We have black, we have white. We have this world and the next world. This is the structure, the fabric of life itself. And therefore going through difficulties is part of living. And going through difficulties and realizing that we can feel emotionally strong at the same time is the antidote to the loneliness, sadness, and depression that we sometimes experience when we go through difficulties. When we say the Birkat HaMazon, the benching, on Shabbos, we say a psalm written in the Tehillim and the Psalms, Psalm 126, before we bench, before we say grace after meals on Shabbos, Psalm 126. And in it, we say the following line. Hazorim bedima berina yiktsoru. Those who sow in sadness, comma, will reap in joy. Two processes, sowing and then reaping. Sowing is difficult. Tilling the ground is hard. It's a process. We sow in tears. But the harvest is joyous. The harvest will be experienced with joy. The Kotzka Rebbe says the following. Don't read it as two separate processes. Read it as follows. Hazorim bedima berina, kama yiktsoru. Those who sow in sadness and joy will reap. That the process of living is sowing in sadness and, and also joy at the same time. Crying with this eye and laughing with this eye at the same time. That's the reaping. The reaping, the reward, is to understand that life is an amalgam. It is a mixture of both sadness and joy at the same time. Let's take it one step further. I believe that the crying is in fact the laughing. That the crying is the joy. Why? Because when we go through a difficulty, we are being shaped, changed, smelted, refined, changed, molded into the person we're supposed to become. And therefore the crying, the process of crying is difficult, but the pain through this difficulty creates the growth that is necessary for me to become who I'm supposed to become. That's why contractions during labor are called chevle leda, 
the pain of birth because birth pangs are difficult and yet they give rise, God willing, to a child. And therefore the pangs of difficulty of labor and contractions are pangs of joy because we know there's something good coming. So too with any difficulty. This is how we can approach any challenge in life. That when we go through difficulty, we know that we're being shaped, changed, and refined. So when the going gets tough, the tough get growing.